Welcome. Today's episode, we're going to do an overview of our mission sponsors on surviving Mars. So you can make an intelligent choice. Are you ready? International Mars mission is very easy. Ample funding. Like, ridiculous amount of funding. 300 research points per soul. And you start off with 200 applicants. Very large rocket payload. Colonists never get Earth sick. The food supply from passenger rockets increased by 10. And rockets synthesize fuel, which means you don't have to produce fuel. Totally recommended for first time players. But I have confidence in you that you could probably skip this and do easy or normal right off the bat. Think of International Mars mission as sandbox, if you will. USA starts off with three rockets, eight billion in funding, 300 research per day or per soul, and it starts off with 100 applicants with an extremely large payload of 70,000 kilograms. And you periodically get additional funding. Blue Sun Corp starts off with two rockets, 10 billion in funding, you get 100 research per soul, and you start off with 100 applicants. Both of these options aren't aren't bad at all. Starting off with 100 applicants in your applicant pool, that's pretty good. You can buy applicants with funding. Hey, that's great, right? Hey, I'll pay you to go to Mars. Sure. As long as there's good internet, right? Additional rockets are significantly cheaper. Probes can discover deep rare metals. That's pretty handy. And then your bonus tech is deep metal extraction can extract deep metals and are deep and deep rare metals. So both the both the regular metal and then your rare metal. The rare metal is what you would export. So just keep that in mind. Anything rare is going to be something that you can export. China. Don't two of these start with? So does... Okay, so the USA and China start with three rockets. Blue, Blue Sun start with two. Is there no five in that group? Interesting. With China, you start off with three. You start off with eight billion in funding. You get 200 research per soul, and you start off with 200 applicants. Now, you could bring more passengers to Mars because your passenger rockets carry 10 additional colonists, and applicants are generated twice as fast. That's actually pretty interesting. I don't know if it really changes the game too much. Unless you pick a storyline that you have to get X people on the planet by X time. We'll discuss all of that stuff later. So those are your easy settings. You've got normal, which we discussed in our Let's Play. You've got India that starts off with three rockets, seven billion in funding, 100 research per soul, 150 applicants. Your buildings are reduced by 20%, so the cost of the building itself is reduced by 20%. That's fairly significant. And you also have bonus tech of low G engineering, which unlocks a medium dome. A medium dome is pretty pricey when it comes to the cost of building it. So 20% savings is pretty significant. Europe. Six billion in funding. Research is four hundred research points per soul. Starting applicants is one hundred. You get five extra starting technologies. This is huge because the technologies I think are random for the most part. At least they seem to be. I don't seem to have the same technologies in every same slot. Five extra starting technologies. 
and you've got your gaining gain funding every time you research something. That's pretty significant. And then you gain double if it's a breakthrough technology. Space Y or Spacey, however you'd like to say it. Six billion in funding, but five rockets. Starting applicants are 75. Not too bad. Drone hubs start with additional drones, which is handy when you're building stuff. You also have 50% cheaper advanced resources. I believe this is resources coming from Earth to Mars. Which is pretty significant because early on, until you're actually mining it and producing it on the planet, the only way to get it is to bring it up from, from Earth. Church of the New Ark. You start off with one rocket. Ouch. That's, that's pretty, that's, ouch. That's all I gotta say. You start off with four billion in, in funding. Your research per soul is zero. But you start off with 120 applicants. All colonists have the religious trait. Birth rate is double. Hydroponic farms performance is reduced by 50, which is a drawback. Ouch. Russia, you start off with two rockets, five billion in funding, 200, 200 research per soul, and 100 applicants. But your bonus tech is fuel extractors, extractor upgrade that boosts production but consumes fuel. Fueled extractors upgrade is free, fuel refinery prefab costs 50% less. Rockets have extended travel time which is a drawback that could be pretty significant especially if you're hoping to time something right and you miss it but i'm sure after playing for a while you'll know the timing and you'll know when to send something paradox interactive start off with one rocket four billion in funding 100 research per soul 75 applicants but you discover more breakthrough anomalies, which is handy. Researching a breakthrough tech grants applicants, also handy. Rockets require more fuel to launch, which is your drawback. I'm not gonna tell you how to defeat all of these on paper, but there are clearly ways designed to be able to overcome any drawback that you see. That's it for this overview. Stay awesome, stay amazing. If you found this episode handy, please like and subscribe. Don't forget, you can check me out five days a week on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Azili. Links down below. Thanks again for watching. Stay awesome, stay amazing. Happy colonizing Mars.